Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and if you're new here you're so welcome. I'm Jane and my husband Michael is behind the camera. We're British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in Northwest France. And every Sunday we share an aspect of our private life with you. What have we been up to to save money? Now it's been no by July for us. Uh, we've been busy in the garden as you can see here. At this very moment in time, I have been picking green beans. I'm getting this many green beans every day. They're delicious, we eat them with everything. So let's share with you the what's what's gone well with no by July. What have we got out of it? And, and what is the point of it for us? Let's get going. <music> I've been absolutely mesmerized here by all the bees, the bumblebees and all the pollinators. We've got so many, so many here in France. I've never seen so many insects in all my life, but doing a good job, aren't they? Anyway, let's get on to number one of what we've got out of this No By July. The first thing for us is it's, it's given us time to reflect on our budget. It's exactly halfway through the year into the next half of the year. I'm thinking about, are we spending too much money on this, that or the other? And I think we, we really came to the conclusion that we probably were spending too much money on food. And because we we spent, I think, about two or three months eating down our freezer, eating down our pantry, and there's still plenty to go. So I think, you know, it is a good time in a no-spend month to evaluate things. And, and we've done that with everything, really. Are we spending too much money on stuff for the garden? Have we spent too much money on ourselves? And it's just a good time in a no spend month that for us to reflect on that. The first benefit we've had is that the sinking funds and the savings and the long-term savings and all of that have not been touched for an entire month. It also, we didn't spend very much of our discretionary spending. We give ourselves 50 euros each cash pocket money a month, buy whatever we like. And we're not often spending that at all. So we, you can see month after month after month, we are really not spending very much. We've spent a lot of money on the garden this year. It's all had its own line in the budget. It's all had its own savings. It's all had its own sinking funds, but it's been really good for a month to not buy anything should not buy anything at all and so the savings and the sinking funds looking nice and healthy we haven't touched them at all come back mr bumble come back mr bumble love them i actually love these bumblebees let's get on to number three this month we haven't put any fuel in the car we haven't bought any garden fuel at all. We topped up the car last month. We topped up the garden supply fuel. We've got lawn mowers, that kind of stuff. And so we haven't spent that at all. So now we're looking at that. Does that need to be an every other month budget, for example, for garden fuel? Um, do we need to reduce the amount on our budget for car fuel? Um, you can see the skies are gray. It's been a bit murky. We've had about 10 days of rain on and off. Which is not a bad thing, we can always find stuff to do at home and indoors. But there's a really good thing with a no by July. You know, we haven't filled the car with fuel and we haven't used, we haven't had to buy any more fuel for our garden. So that's another budget line that we've been able to evaluate. When you have a month of not spending any money, it really does give you time to catch up on all the other things that you've already bought that you already need to do. We've got two and a half acres of land here and we have got it every single bit of it cut down and mown the bits that need doing. Obviously it's, you know, we've not, it's not scorched earth or anything here, but everything that's needed to be done. And it was a good job we did because as I've said, we've just had 10 days of rain and it's all grown again, but at least we got ahead. I made a complete quilt from start to finish, the whole lot, full bed size quilt for a local charity that I support. I've already started making Christmas presents this month of another quilt for somebody else. 
Um, we've got wood cut, we've got wood stacked. We've really got on with it this month. And it's, and, it's a, and it's a good thing. If you're not in the shops and you're not going out to do anything that costs any money, you can always find stuff to do. And usually it's stuff you've put off from before and it needed doing. a tiny greenhouse and a, and a tiny bit of vegetable patch here but um we've really made the most of it in july it has been it's, it's been really busy we've had loads of it we've we've eaten from it we're as we've showed you we're eating beans all the time i've had tomatoes ripening on and off i've bottled 10 bottles of tomatoes now ready for the winter i used one of them the other day to test it turned it into a pasta sauce it was really good and i've collected fruit free from neighbours, I picked fruit from the garden, I've made six pots of jam, so there we go. I've been, I've been busy preserving food from local surrounding areas and from my garden. Well, my poor sunflowers haven't liked all this rain. They're doing all right though. We've got wildflowers all over the garden, so. We can cope with the loss of a few sunflowers. So what else has been really good about No By July? I think in our evaluation of our behaviours around money and our budgeting and all those things, I think we, we did realise to ourselves that we were using stuff like going to Vitbreniers, which is the big French version of a town. When I say yard sale, I mean like a yard sale that fills an entire town. You spend hours going around them. So I think we were using things like Vitraniers and Brocants and charity shops like Emmaus and Tire Cup and uh, Chiffoniers de la Joie and things like that. I think we were doing using them as something to do, as like entertainment, using using all those things that I, I know in my heart are, are not a good use of money, of using that kind of shopping as entertainment because they are fascinating. They are absolutely fascinating. And, you know, we haven't been to any for a month at all. And we, we haven't missed it at all. We haven't put anything in a basket in Amazon or anything else, online stores in a basket at all. And because of that, you know, we've, we've walked a lot more. We've got out and about when it's not raining a lot more. We, we caught up with some of the Tour de France every single day. And I think it's, it's reminded us that we're not shoppers. We do not need to use spending money and shopping and buying things as a form of entertainment. And we can be perfectly happy without going shopping. So let's sum up no by July. We paid our bills. We bought food at the supermarket, but less than normal. We didn't buy anything else nothing nothing else at all we have had a completely no by july we haven't bought anything online we haven't bought anything second hand nothing nothing whatsoever so i'm calling that no by july a success nothing's left our sinking funds nothing left our savings we didn't have any discretionary spending spare in our budget this month anyway it's a low income month and we've been absolutely fine. It's been really, really good. And our next no spend month will be October. And I'm sure we will be fine again. Do you ever have no spend months? You know, why, why do you have them? For us, like we've shared with you, it's, it's, a, it's a budget reset. It's an evaluation. It's a build up our savings. And it's to get things done that probably should have been done before. Thank you to everyone who's watched the video today. Thank you especially to everyone who hits the like button. It really, really does help the channel. Thank you to all the old subscribers. Thank you to all the new subscribers. And thank you to everyone who leaves a comment and we read every single one of them, even if we don't get the chance to reply to all of them. And we will see you soon. Goodbye for now.